I have spent a borderline absurd number of hours playing Dwarf Fortress over the years. And one thing kind of always strikes me while playing this game. There are tales of creatures and monsters that once existed that no longer do, or alternatively creatures that are thought to have existed and simply never have. This is going to be a series of wiki articles from the Dwarf Fortress wiki covering some creatures that simply do not exist, or potentially do not exist in their original form anymore. Chimeras. Chimeras are fanciful creatures which are merely the stuff of legends and do not actually exist, appearing only in engravings and statues as the fancy of artists, a mere figment of dwarven imagination or other creature imagination from the world of Dwarf Fortress. Some dwarves can like chimeras for their terrifying features. They were genderless, fanciful, adult size at birth, with an age of immortal. Originally represented by a capital C, chimeras do not exist. As we explore the dwarven imagination, we discover other creatures, such as centaurs. Centaurs are also adult size at birth and immortal, fanciful creatures that only appear in legends. They do not actually exist, appearing only in engravings as the fancy of artists. Some dwarves like centaurs for their strength, even though they do not actually exist. But perhaps one of the strangest features of centaurs is that some trolls like centaurs for their milk. As we continue the delve into the depths of dwarven legend, we see wings on the horizon and duck as a great shadow flies above our heads. Griffins are fanciful creatures, which are merely the stuff of legends. They do not actually exist, appearing only in engravings as the fancy of artists. And some dwarves like griffins for their strength. Once again, adult size at birth, immortal and cannot be tamed. Griffins do not exist. As we delve deeper into the legends of creatures that do not exist, we discover an ancient tale of something that once existed. Treants. In a very early pre-release version of Dwarf Fortress, attacking elves used their druids to animate nearby trees to attack your fortress, presumably turning them into treants. As of now, treants do not actually exist in the game, though they may sometimes be depicted in engravings. The elves also still have druids. Druids, of course, are an important role in the hierarchy of elves. Druids are a noble position of nobility among the elves, responsible for religion. However, the druids are not related and do not possess the druid skill, because they are only present in elves. Druids will not visit and cannot be appointed in an unmodded game of fortress mode. Druids, of course, have the highest precedence in the elven civilization, the same as the dwarven monarch. Interestingly, they also have a queen and a princess position with lower rank, and they are succeeded by the acolyte position, which they appoint. Essentially, the elves get to choose their successor when they choose to either step down or leave the position. Since treants were a summoned creature, they are, of course, adult size at birth and immortal, they have no bones and no skulls and no meat, they cannot be tamed, and they are a building destroyer level 2, meaning they could rip the doors off of hinges. No dwarves like ants. But ants do not exist. As we continue into the realms of things that do not exist, we discover wizards. Wizards are a magical person who is merely the stuff of legends as they do not actually exist, appearing only in engravings as the fancy of artists, as there is no such thing as magic. All dwarves know this, and anyone who says otherwise is surely an elven trickster. Dwarf Fortress does not presently include a robust or finalized magic system, so they are in the game's raw object data folder, and only to order them to appear engravings. Wizards, of course, are a special creature which has trap avoid, and it learns, and they're generally, I would assume, would be a humanoid, unless you consider a spider wizard some sort of humanoid. Uh, by default, the wiki does claim that they would have seven bones and one skull, and are immortal, an adult at the age of birth. 
But at the very least, at the present time, wizards do not exist. As we near the end of our journey of creatures that do not exist, we stumble upon giant desert scorpions, which were of course a rare, large, aggressive, dangerous creature found in the most savage desert biomes, above ground equivalent of the giant cave spider. As opponents, they were the equivalent to blind cave ogres in lethality and could appear in groups of anything from one to three mayhem-minded individuals. Desert scorpions were predatory, meandering killing machines, and they would roam over long distances seeking prey, meaning they would eventually find your fortress and start stinging dwarves. Unlike other giant creatures, they never possessed the normal humanoid equivalents. All giant desert scorpions were born with legendary skill in climbing, which made them terrifying. The only thing that could stop them from climbing your walls was an overhanged ceiling. The reason they were considered such a big threat was because of their stingers. Giant desert scorpions were capable of injecting a neurotoxin which caused necrosis of the brain and nervous system, resulting in instant death once they completely rotted. However, suffocation due to respiratory paralysis was likely to occur first. This process took about 950 ticks, 19 in-game hours. Giant scorpions also couldn't be stunned and felt no pain or fear. A wounded scorpion would never stop fighting until it was dead. This mean meant that despite its relatively moderate size, the giant scorpion was able to one-hit kill all creatures with blood and a nervous system. That is, most creatures. And yes, a giant desert scorpion could and would kill an elephant, giant, or dragon if it got in melee and had the time to sting before being killed. They were also famous for their ability to wrestle weapons or backpacks or socks or armor or whatever items struck their fancy. You or your dwarves wielded out of their hands and possess and brutally kill you with them. They also had been reported to shoot crossbows in the object testing arena. Giant desert scorpions could be captured in cage traps and trained into pits, being the most valuable animals tied up with giant cave spiders. Products made from their parts were four times more valuable than those made from normal animals, and they gave a decent amount of meat and fat when butchered, but most players would lean to the thought of breeding these beasts for the purpose of fortress defense. Stuffing a cage with 30 scorpions and releasing them uh, right next to an unsuspecting goblins during an invasion was a joyous sight. The giant de desert scorpions were removed from the game in version 42.04, with plans for a replacement in a future update. Players who can't wait that long add the old version back in by installing a mod. Some dwarves liked giant scorpions for their tails, and currently do not exist. My final bonus is something that sort of exists. Werewolves. Werewolves are a strange creature in Dwarf Fortress, as in older versions of the game, all we had was werewolves, a monster half-man, half-beast, fur-covered humanoid with the head of a wolf. But despite the folk folklore surrounding them, it appears werewolves did not propagate via curse or disease, at least at that time. The dwarves and adventurers needed fear only death, and werewolves liked to pick off loners in the woods but didn't seem to attack fortresses or fortress entrances, and a good method of dealing with them was to simply assign a dog to a chain to the surrounded area with cage traps. This original variant of werewolves were removed after version 31 and replaced by the more modern werebeast, where you can have many different variants of the werewolves. I, myself, have actually seen a single werewolf in about 10,000 hours of gameplay, but maybe you've seen them more than I have. Strange creature, at the very least, considering they didn't spread via virus like they do now. However, by this logic, werewolves do not exist. I hope you enjoyed this little video of some things that do not exist in Dwarf Fortress. I thought that it would be a fun topic to cover. Of course, there are a few other things like titans that technically no longer exist because titans have also been replaced, similar to werewolves, and also uh, tentacle demons, and a few other things that theoretically sort of still exist but no longer do exist simply because of uh, changes in the game or the way the game works. But I think that this was a pretty fun little list. 
If there's other things you'd like to see me cover in Dwarf Fortress lore in these wiki dives, leave a comment down in the description and uh, let me know what you'd like to see from me. I'm very curious to know what this channel is going to turn into in the next six months, so keep me posted. If you'd like to support me directly, two bucks a month gets your name in the credits on f for Patreon and... Uh, of course, becoming a YouTube member does the same thing. And uh, if you want to support me directly, uh, pick up a mug or something. I don't know. Leave a comment. Share this video. Thanks for watching.